All right, everybody, we're less than 45 minutes away from the start of one of the biggest Thanksgiving meals in the entire country. It's the 44th annual Super Feast put on by Houston's own Citywide Club. Yeah, CW39 Seth Kovar, he's actually there right now, live from the event where the preparations are well underway. So, Seth, when does the food come out? The food comes out here at 10 o'clock. I don't smell it yet. That's kind of surprising, but it'll be here short enough. And there's kind of tens of thousands of people here getting their free meal this Thanksgiving. And we have a very special guest to bring in right now. Come on in, Arbany Gabriel, Miss USA, joining us right now. It's a pleasure to have her with us. Now, what exactly are you doing here, and what do you expect today? Well, I'm here spending my Thanksgiving morning volunteering, giving back to the city of Houston. This is my hometown. I'm super happy to be home for the holidays and home for Thanksgiving and I think it's the best way to spend Thanksgiving with sharing people with food and just being around the city. Now, it's a free meal and for a lot of folks it's their only chance to get a Thanksgiving meal. When you hear there's tens of thousands of people showing up today that need this food, what do you think about that? I think that's really important. I think everybody deserves a good meal on Thanksgiving and just throughout the holidays, really every day. So I think it's important that people in our city give back, whether it's their time or donating food and canned goods. It's so important. I'm sure you keep a very good diet, but uh, do you <laughs> splurge on Thanksgiving? What are your favorite foods this time of year? So my favorite food is the green bean casserole. You have to have the french fried onions on top and the sweet potato casserole. So I'm actually going to eat that after I leave here today. I'm very thankful for that. And and we're all thankful for different things on Thanksgiving. Uh, tell me about what you're most thankful for this Thanksgiving. I'm thankful to be home. I'm thankful for my family. I have my best friend who drove in and is volunteering with me, and I'm just thankful to be able to spend time with her. Just in a busy schedule, I'm training for Miss Universe January 14th. I don't get to see friends and family a lot, so I'm thankful to have the day off and spend time with them. Do you think you'll be actually manning one of the lines serving up food today, or do you think it's going to be more of a meet and greet type situation for you? I am planning to serve people. I hope that's really what I get to do. Um, that's what the coordinator said I get to do. So we'll take some photos here and there, but the purpose is to just serve people and give back. Okay, well, best of luck to you at the Miss Universe pageant. When is it again and where? That is January 14th in New Orleans. I hope everybody tunes in. It will be on TV so you can watch it live. Okay, thank you very much, Miss USA, joining us now. We also have another special guest. Do you think, Nicole, can we go ahead and flip flop here? We're actually balancing a live shot with a fellow station here, but Nicole, you're one of the organizers of the Super Feast. Go ahead and tell me about what all you've put in to make this all happen. Absolutely. So we are serving over 35,000 pounds of food today to almost 25,000 Houstonians that are going to come through our doors and get a warm meal. The other awesome thing that we're doing out here today is our grab and go baskets, which are uh, people are lining up at the back of the George R. Brown off of Chartres Street. You're going to receive a box of food, which is going to be uh, enough to feed a family of four or five to about for about four or five days. So lots of food going home with everybody that comes out today to participate. There's obviously a large need in this community. When you hear tens of thousands of people need this free meal today, what does that make you feel? I mean, it's 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 sad, but it's also uplifting that the number of volunteers that we have had come out understand the need of Houston. We've been hit by Hurricane Harvey, followed by the COVID-19 panic pandemic, and then also food insecurity that is um, plaguing our community as you know inflation rises and food is more and more expensive. So it's our our consumer has really changed over the last, our guest has really changed over the last several years. It's not just, um, it's it's really everybody. So um, we're just so blessed to be here today um, and, you know, just so thankful. We just have a little bit of time left, but can you kind of set the scene of what it's going to be like when the doors open here and the meals start getting served at 10 o'clock this morning? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got the serving line, which is set up behind us. We've got medical services, clothing, um, kids area, just so many things going on today at the George R. Brown. It's a well-rounded event, and we're so thankful for our sponsors and organizers. Okay, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for putting this on for our community. Absolutely. We really appreciate it. All right, it all gets started at 10 o'clock here at the George R. Brown Convention Center. Come down and get yourself a nice Thanksgiving meal and so many other services as well. Back to you on the studio.